Mother Earth, often personified as a nurturing and life-giving entity, embodies the intricate and interconnected systems that support all forms of life on our planet. This concept has been revered across cultures and throughout history, symbolizing the profound respect and reliance humans have on the natural world. As we delve into the details of Mother Earth, we uncover the layers of her physical composition, the delicate balance of her ecosystems, and the impact of human activity on her well-being. This exploration not only highlights the wonders of our planet, but also underscores the urgent need for sustainable stewardship to preserve its beauty and resources for future generations. The Earth's core is divided into a solid inner core and a liquid outer core, both primarily composed of iron and nickel. The movement of the outer core generates the Earth's magnetic field. Surrounding the core is the mantle, a thick layer of silicate rocks that extends to the crust which forms the continents and ocean floors. The crust's thickness varies, with continental crust being thicker than oceanic crust. The movement of tectonic plates floating on the semi-fluid asthenosphere shapes the Earth's surface through earthquakes, volcanic activity and mountain formation. These processes play a crucial role in recycling Earth's materials and distributing minerals and resources. The Earth's atmosphere is a thin layer of gases that protect life from harmful solar radiation and maintain a habitable climate. Composed primarily of nitrogen, 78% and oxygen with trace amounts of other gases like carbon dioxide, methane and water vapor the atmosphere is divided into several layers the troposphere is the lowest layer where weather phenomena occur above it lies the stratosphere containing the ozone layer which absorbs ultraviolet solar radiation the mesosphere, where meteors burn up, lies above the stratosphere, followed by the thermosphere, characterized by high temperatures due to solar radiation absorption. The outermost layer, the exosphere, gradually transitions into space. Water is essential for life and the Earth's hydrosphere includes all water present on the surface, underground and in the atmosphere. This encompasses oceans, seas, rivers, lakes, glaciers, groundwater and atmospheric water vapor. The water cycle, driven by solar energy, involves evaporation, condensation, precipitation infiltration and runoff, ensuring the distribution and replenishment of water resources and influencing weather patterns. The biosphere encompasses all living organisms and their interactions with each other and their environments, extending from the deepest ocean trenches to the highest mountain peaks. Ecosystems Communities of living organisms interacting with their physical environments range from small ponds to vast forests and are characterized by intricate food webs and nutrient cycles. Biodiversity, the variety of life within these ecosystems, is crucial for their resilience. Biomes are large geographic areas characterized by specific climate conditions flora and fauna. 
Major biomes include tropical rainforests, deserts, savannas, temperate forests, taiga, boreal forests, and tundra. Tropical rainforests, located near the equator, are known for their high biodiversity and abundant rainfall. Deserts with low precipitation have species adapted to extreme conditions. Savannas, with scattered trees, experience seasonal rainfall and support large herbivores and predators. Temperate forests, found in regions with distinct seasons, have a mix of deciduous and evergreen trees. Tigers, located in high latitudes, have cold climates and are dominated by coniferous trees. Tundras, characterized by cold temperatures and permafrost, support limited vegetation and specialized wildlife. The geosphere includes all rocks, minerals and landforms on the Earth's surface and below, shaping the physical landscape of our planet. Geological processes such as weathering, erosion, sedimentation, volcanism and mountain building continuously reshape the Earth's surface. Weathering breaks down rocks into smaller particles, while erosion moves these materials by wind, water, ice or gravity. Sedimentation deposits eroded materials, forming sedimentary rocks over time. Volcanism involves the eruption of molten rock, magma, from beneath the Earth's crust, creating volcanic landforms and contributing to the creation of new crust. Mountain building occurs through the collision and movement of tectonic plates, creating mountain ranges through folding and faulting. Human activity has increasingly impacted Mother Earth, with activities such as deforestation, pollution, urbanization, and the burning of fossil fuels leading to environmental degradation and climate change. The burning of fossil fuels releases greenhouse gases, trapping heat and causing global warming. Climate change results in rising sea levels, more frequent and severe natural disasters, and disruptions to ecosystems and agriculture. Deforestation, the clearing of forests for agriculture, logging and urban development, reduces biodiversity disrupts ecosystems and contributes to carbon emissions. Forests regulate the climate, provide habitat for wildlife, and support local communities. Pollution from industrial activities, agriculture and urban areas contaminates air, water and soil, posing health risks to humans and wildlife. Plastic pollution in oceans, chemical runoff from agriculture, and air pollution from factories are critical issues affecting the environment. Conservation efforts and sustainable practices aim to balance human needs with environmental preservation, ensuring the planet's health for future generations. Transitioning to renewable energy sources, such as solar, wind and hydroelectric power, reduces greenhouse gas emissions and dependence on non-renewable resources. Conservation of biodiversity through protected areas, wildlife reserves, and sustainable agriculture and forestry practices helps maintain ecosystem health. Waste reduction, recycling, and minimizing single-use plastics mitigate pollution and conserve resources. Composting organic waste, 
and using biodegradable materials are effective strategies. Education and advocacy play a vital role in promoting environmental awareness and action. Environmental education in schools and communities empowers individuals to make informed decisions and take proactive steps to protect the environment. Advocacy groups and environmental organizations influence policies and practices that promote sustainability and environmental protection through lobbying, public campaigns, and partnerships with governments and businesses. The future of Mother Earth depends on collective efforts to address environmental challenges and adopt sustainable practices. Embracing renewable energy, conserving natural resources, and protecting biodiversity can ensure a healthy and vibrant planet for future generations. Global cooperation is essential in tackling issues such as climate change, pollution and habitat destruction. Global cooperation is essential in tackling the pressing environmental challenges that Mother Earth faces. Climate change, pollution and habitat destruction are issues that transcend national borders and require a unified approach. International agreements and collaborations such as the Paris Agreement aim to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and mitigate the impacts of global warming. These agreements rely on the commitment of countries to set and achieve ambitious targets for reducing their carbon footprints. The Paris Agreement, adopted in 2015, is a landmark international treaty that brings countries together to combat climate change and limit global warming to well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. The agreement emphasizes the importance of nationally determined contributions, NDCs, which are pledges made by countries to reduce their emissions and adapt to the impacts of climate change. Regular reviews and updates of these contributions are essential to ensure progress and accountability. In addition to international treaties, regional and local initiatives play a critical role in environmental conservation. Cities and communities around the world are implementing sustainable practices to reduce their environmental impact. Urban areas which are responsible for a significant portion of global emissions are increasingly adopting green infrastructure, promoting public transportation and encouraging energy efficient buildings. These efforts not only reduce emissions, but also enhance the quality of life for residents by creating healthier and more sustainable environments. Public awareness and participation are crucial components of environmental protection. Grassroots movements and community-based organizations are instrumental in advocating for sustainable practices and holding governments and corporations accountable. By raising awareness about environmental issues and promoting eco-friendly behaviors, these groups empower individuals to take action in their daily lives. Simple actions such as reducing waste, conserving water, and supporting sustainable products can collectively make a significant impact. The role of technology and innovation in addressing environmental challenges cannot be overstated. Advances in renewable energy technologies, such as solar and wind power, 
have made clean energy more accessible and affordable. Innovations in energy storage, such as batteries, are essential for integrating renewable energy into the grid and ensuring a stable and reliable energy supply. Additionally, advancements in transportation, including electric vehicles and public transit systems, are reducing emissions and dependence on fossil fuels. Sustainable agriculture and food systems are also critical areas of focus. Agriculture is a major driver of deforestation, habitat destruction and greenhouse gas emissions. By adopting sustainable farming practices, such as agroforestry, crop rotation and organic farming, we can reduce the environmental impact of food production. Furthermore, reducing food waste and promoting plant-based diets can significantly decrease the demand for resource-intensive animal products and lower overall emissions. Water conservation and management are vital for maintaining healthy ecosystems and ensuring access to clean water for all. Freshwater resources are under increasing pressure from population growth, industrial activities and climate change. Sustainable water management practices such as rainwater harvesting, efficient irrigation and wastewater treatment help preserve water quality and availability. Protecting and restoring wetlands Rivers and aquifers are essential for maintaining biodiversity and supporting human communities. Forests, often referred to as the lungs of the earth, play a crucial role in regulating the climate, storing carbon and providing habitat for countless species. Deforestation and forest degradation are major contributors to climate change and bathing forests and improving livelihoods. Marine and coastal ecosystems are equally important for the health of the planet. Oceans absorb a significant portion of carbon dioxide emissions and play a critical role in regulating the climate. However, they are facing severe threats from overfishing, pollution and climate change. Marine protected areas, MPAs, and sustainable fishing practices are essential for conserving marine biodiversity and maintaining the health of ocean ecosystems. Addressing marine pollution, particularly plastic pollution, requires concerted efforts to reduce plastic production, improve waste management, and promote the use of biodegradable alternatives. Indigenous peoples and local communities have long-standing knowledge and practices that are invaluable for environmental conservation. Their traditional ecological knowledge, often passed down through generations, offers insights into sustainable resource management and biodiversity conservation. Recognizing and respecting the rights of indigenous peoples and involving them in decision-making processes are crucial for the success of conservation efforts. Economic systems and policies also play a significant role in shaping environmental outcomes. Transitioning to a green economy, which prioritizes sustainable development and environmental protection requires systemic changes in how we produce, consume and value natural resources. Green economy policies may include incentives for renewable energy, investments in green infrastructure and regulations to limit pollution and resource extraction. 
Additionally, incorporating the true environmental costs into the pricing of goods and services, often referred to as internalizing externalities, can drive more sustainable consumption and production patterns. Education and capacity building are fundamental to fostering a culture of sustainability. Integrating environmental education into school curricula helps young people understand the importance of protecting the planet and equips them with the knowledge and skills to take action. Lifelong learning opportunities such as workshops, online courses and community programs enable individuals of all ages to stay informed and engaged in environmental issues. Scientific research and monitoring are essential for understanding the complexities of Earth systems and the impacts of human activities. Long-term environmental monitoring programs provide valuable data on changes in climate, biodiversity and ecosystems. This information is crucial for developing effective conservation strategies and assessing the progress of environmental policies. Collaboration between scientists, policymakers and practitioners enhances the relevance and application of research findings. Mother Earth, with her intricate systems and breathtaking beauty, is a testament to the interconnectedness of all life. Our actions, both individually and collectively, have profound implications for the health and sustainability of our planet. By embracing sustainable practices, fostering global cooperation, and advocating for environmental justice, we can honor the legacy of Mother Earth and ensure a thriving future for generations to come. The journey towards sustainability is a shared responsibility that requires commitment, innovation, and compassion for the natural world that sustains us. Mother Earth, our home, is an extraordinarily complex and vibrant entity, encompassing a myriad of interconnected systems that sustain all forms of life. The delicate balance of these systems underscores the profound importance of understanding and respecting our planet's natural processes. The physical composition of the Earth, its atmosphere, hydrosphere, biosphere and geosphere all play critical roles in maintaining the conditions necessary for life. However, Human activities have increasingly disrupted these systems, highlighting the urgent need for sustainable practices and global cooperation to preserve the planet for future generations. The Earth's physical composition is foundational to understanding its functionality. The inner core, primarily composed of iron and nickel, is solid due to immense pressure despite its high temperatures. Surrounding this is the liquid outer core, also rich in iron and nickel, which is responsible for generating the Earth's magnetic field through its dynamic movements. This magnetic field is crucial for protecting the planet from harmful solar radiation. The mantle a thick layer of silicate rocks extends to the crust and is the source of magma that fuels volcanic activity. The Earth's crust, forming the continents and ocean floors, is the outermost layer and varies in thickness, being thicker under continents and thinner beneath oceans. Tectonic plate movements are fundamental to Earth's geological activity. 
These plates, composed of the crust and the upper mantle, float on the semi-fluid asthenosphere. Their interactions cause earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and the formation of mountain ranges. These processes recycle the Earth's materials and distribute essential minerals and resources. For example, the collision of the Indian and Eurasian plates formed the Himalayas, the highest mountain range in the world. This ongoing geological activity is a testament to the dynamic nature of our planet. The Earth's atmosphere, a thin layer of gases enveloping the planet, is essential for life. It protects us from harmful solar radiation, regulates temperature, and supports weather patterns. The atmosphere is composed primarily of nitrogen, 78%, and oxygen, with trace amounts of other gases such as carbon dioxide, methane and water vapor. The atmosphere is divided into several layers, each with distinct characteristics. The troposphere, the lowest layer, extends up to about 12 kilometers, a 7.5 miles above the Earth's surface and is where weather phenomena occur. Above it lies the stratosphere, containing the ozone layer which absorbs and scatters ultraviolet solar radiation. The mesosphere, where meteors burn up, lies above the stratosphere, followed by the thermosphere, characterized by high temperatures due to the absorption of intense solar radiation. The outermost layer, the exosphere, gradually transitions into space. Water, essential for all known forms of life, is a critical component of the Earth's hydrosphere. This includes oceans, seas, rivers, lakes, glaciers, groundwater, and atmospheric water vapor. The continuous movement of water within the hydrosphere, known as the water cycle, involves evaporation, condensation, precipitation, infiltration, and runoff. This cycle ensures the distribution and replenishment of water resources, influencing weather patterns and supporting ecosystems. For instance, the Amazon River, the largest river by discharge volume in the world, plays a crucial role in the water cycle of the Amazon rainforest, one of the most biodiverse regions on the planet. The biosphere encompasses all living organisms and their interactions with each other and their environments. It extends from the deepest ocean trenches to the highest mountain peaks, supporting a vast diversity of life forms. Ecosystems, communities of living organisms interacting with their physical environments, can range from small ponds to vast forests and are characterized by intricate food webs and nutrient cycles. Biodiversity, the variety of life within these ecosystems is crucial for their resilience and stability. High biodiversity ensures that ecosystems can withstand disturbances and continue to provide essential services such as clean air and water, pollination and climate regulation. Biomes are large geographic areas characterized by specific climate conditions, flora and fauna. Major biomes include tropical rainforests, deserts, savannas, temperate forests, taiga, boreal forests, and tundra. Tropical rainforests located near the equator 
are known for their high biodiversity and abundant rainfall. The Amazon rainforest, for example, contains more species of plants and animals than any other terrestrial ecosystem. Deserts, characterized by low precipitation, have species adapted to extreme temperatures and arid conditions. The Sahara Desert, the largest hot desert in the world, is home to unique flora and fauna that have evolved to survive its harsh climate. Savannas, with scattered trees, experience seasonal rainfall and support large herbivores and predators. The African savanna, home to iconic species such as elephants, lions and zebras, exemplifies the biodiversity and ecological interactions within this biome. Temperate forests, found in regions with distinct seasons, have a mix of deciduous and evergreen trees. The temperate forests of North America, Europe and Asia are vital habitats for a wide range of species. Tigers, located in high latitudes, have cold climates and are dominated by coniferous trees. The boreal forests of Canada, Russia and Scandinavia are crucial for carbon storage and climate regulation. Tundras, characterized by cold temperatures and permafrost, support limited vegetation and specialized wildlife. The Arctic tundra, one of the most fragile ecosystems, is particularly vulnerable to climate change. The geosphere includes all rocks, minerals and landforms on the Earth's surface and below, shaping the physical landscape of our planet. Geological processes such as weathering, erosion, sedimentation, volcanism, and mountain building continuously reshape the Earth's surface. Weathering breaks down rocks into smaller particles through physical, chemical, or biological processes. Erosion involves the movement of weathered materials by wind, water, ice, or gravity, reshaping the Earth's surface. Sedimentation is the deposition of eroded materials, forming sedimentary rocks over time. Volcanism involves the eruption of molten rock, magma, from beneath the Earth's crust, creating volcanic landforms and contributing to the creation of new crust. Mountain building occurs through the collision and movement of tectonic plates, creating mountain ranges through processes such as folding and faulting. Human activity has increasingly impacted Mother Earth, with activities such as deforestation, pollution, urbanization, and the burning of fossil fuels leading to environmental degradation and climate change. The burning of fossil fuels releases greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide and methane, into the atmosphere. These gases trap heat, leading to global warming and altering weather patterns. Climate change has far-reaching effects, including rising sea levels, more frequent and severe natural disasters, and disruptions to ecosystems and agriculture. For example, the melting of polar ice caps due to global warming contributes to sea level rise, threatening coastal communities and ecosystems. Deforestation, the clearing of forests for agriculture, logging and urban development, reduces biodiversity disrupts ecosystems and contributes to carbon emissions. Forests play a crucial role in regulating the climate 
providing habitat for wildlife and supporting local communities. The Amazon rainforest, often referred to as the lungs of the earth, is a significant carbon sink, absorbing large amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. However, Deforestation for agriculture and logging is rapidly reducing its ability to sequester carbon, exacerbating climate change. Pollution from industrial activities, agriculture and urban areas contaminates air, water and soil, posing health risks to humans and wildlife. Plastic pollution in oceans chemical runoff from agriculture and air pollution from factories are some of the critical issues affecting the environment. For instance, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, a massive accumulation of plastic debris in the Pacific Ocean, poses a severe threat to marine life and ecosystems. Recognizing the need to protect Mother Earth Conservation efforts and sustainable practices have gained momentum worldwide. These initiatives aim to balance human needs with environmental preservation, ensuring the planet's health for future generations. Transitioning from fossil fuels to renewable energy sources, such as solar, wind and hydroelectric power, reduces greenhouse gas emissions and dependence on non-renewable resources. Solar energy, harnessed through photovoltaic cells, converts sunlight into electricity, providing a clean and abundant source of power. Wind energy, captured by wind turbines, is another renewable source that can generate electricity without emitting greenhouse gases. Hydroelectric power, generated by harnessing the energy of flowing water, is a well-established and reliable source of renewable energy. Conservation of biodiversity is crucial for maintaining ecosystem health and resilience. Protected areas, wildlife reserves and conservation programs aim to preserve habitats and endangered species. Sustainable agriculture and forestry practices help maintain biodiversity and ecosystem health. Agroforestry, the integration of trees and shrubs into agricultural landscapes, enhances biodiversity and soil health while providing economic benefits to farmers. Crop rotation, the practice of growing different crops in succession on the same land, helps prevent soil depletion, pest outbreaks. Organic farming, which avoids synthetic pesticides and fertilizers, promotes soil health and biodiversity. Waste reduction and recycling are essential strategies for mitigating pollution and conserving resources. Reducing waste generation, promoting recycling, and minimizing single-use plastics can significantly decrease pollution. Composting organic waste and using biodegradable materials are also effective strategies for waste management. By composting kitchen scraps and yard waste, individuals can reduce landfill waste and create nutrient-rich soil for gardening. Education and advocacy play a vital role in promoting environmental awareness and action. Integrating environmental education into school curricula helps young people understand the importance of protecting the planet and equips them with the knowledge and skills to take action. 
lifelong learning opportunities such as workshops, online courses and community programs enable individuals of all ages to stay informed and engaged in environmental issues. Topics such as climate change, conservation and sustainable living are essential components of environmental education. Advocacy groups and environmental organizations work to influence policies and practices that promote sustainability and environmental protection. Through lobbying, public campaigns and partnerships with governments and businesses, these groups drive change at local, national and global levels. For example, the World Wildlife Fund WF and Greenpeace are prominent organizations advocating for the conservation of biodiversity and the adoption of sustainable practices. Mother Earth depends on our collective efforts to address environmental challenges and adopt sustainable practices. Embracing renewable energy Conserving natural resources and protecting biodiversity can ensure a healthy and vibrant planet for future generations. Global cooperation is essential in tackling issues such as climate change, pollution and habitat destruction. By working together, we can create a sustainable future that honors the legacy of Mother Earth and safeguards her for generations to come. A significant aspect of ensuring a sustainable future is the transition to renewable energy sources. Solar, wind and hydroelectric power offer cleaner alternatives to fossil fuels, significantly reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Solar energy harnesses sunlight through photovoltaic cells, converting it into electricity. This technology has advanced rapidly, becoming more efficient and cost-effective, making it accessible to a wider range of users. Wind energy, captured by turbines, is another renewable source that can generate electricity without emitting greenhouse gases. Wind farms, both onshore and offshore, are becoming increasingly common as technology improves and costs decrease. Hydroelectric power, generated by harnessing the energy of flowing water, is a well-established and reliable source of renewable energy. By investing in and promoting these renewable energy sources, we can reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and mitigate the impacts of climate change. Energy efficiency is another critical component of a sustainable future. Improving energy efficiency in buildings, transportation and industry can significantly reduce energy consumption and emissions. Green building practices such as using energy-efficient appliances, insulation and lighting, help reduce energy use and lower utility bills. Retrofitting existing buildings with energy-efficient technologies and materials can also lead to substantial energy savings. In the transportation sector, electric vehicles, EVs, offer a cleaner alternative to traditional internal combustion engine vehicles. Advances in battery technology have improved the range and affordability of EVs, making them a viable option for many consumers. Public transportation systems such as buses, trains and subways can also be optimized for energy efficiency, reducing the overall carbon footprint of transportation. 
Sustainable agriculture and food systems are essential for feeding the growing global population while minimizing environmental impact. Traditional farming practices, such as monoculture and heavy reliance on chemical inputs, have led to soil degradation, water pollution, and loss of biodiversity. In contrast, Sustainable farming practices, such as agroecology, permaculture, and regenerative agriculture, emphasize biodiversity, soil health, and ecological balance. These practices enhance the resilience of agricultural systems to climate change and reduce the need for synthetic fertilizers and pesticides. Agroecology integrates principles of ecology into agricultural practices, promoting biodiversity, soil health, and sustainable resource use. Permaculture is a design approach that seeks to create self-sustaining agricultural systems modeled after natural ecosystems. Regenerative agriculture focuses on restoring and enhancing soil health through practices such as cover cropping, reduced tillage, and composting. By adopting these practices, farmers can improve crop yields, enhance soil fertility, and reduce environmental impact. Reducing food waste is another crucial aspect of sustainable food systems. Approximately one-third of all food produced globally is wasted, leading to unnecessary resource use and greenhouse gas emissions. Reducing food waste at the production, distribution and consumption stages can significantly decrease the environmental footprint of the food system. Strategies for reducing food waste include improving supply chain efficiency, promoting better storage and handling practices, and encouraging consumers to buy and consume only what they need. Additionally, Food recovery and redistribution programs can help ensure that surplus food reaches those in need, reducing both waste and food insecurity. Water conservation and management are vital for maintaining healthy ecosystems and ensuring access to clean water for all. Freshwater resources are under increasing pressure from population growth, industrial activities, and climate change. Sustainable water management practices such as rainwater harvesting, efficient irrigation, and wastewater treatment help preserve water quality and availability. Rainwater harvesting involves collecting and storing rainwater for later use, reducing the demand on traditional water sources. Efficient irrigation systems such as drip irrigation deliver water directly to the roots of plants, minimizing water waste. Wastewater treatment processes remove contaminants from sewage and industrial effluents allowing the treated water to be safely reused or returned to the environment. Protecting and restoring natural water bodies such as rivers, lakes and wetlands is essential for maintaining biodiversity and supporting human communities. Wetlands, for example, provide critical ecosystem services including water filtration, flood control, and habitat for wildlife. Restoration efforts such as reforestation, riverbank stabilization, and wetland creation can help improve water quality and enhance the resilience of ecosystems to climate change. 
Forests play a crucial role in regulating the climate, storing carbon, and providing habitat for countless species. Deforestation and forest degradation are major contributors to climate change and biodiversity loss. Efforts to protect and restore forests, such as reforestation, afforestation, and sustainable forest management, are vital for mitigating climate change and preserving biodiversity. Reforestation involves planting trees in deforested areas, while afforestation refers to establishing forests on land that was not previously forested. Sustainable forest management practices, such as selective logging and agroforestry, balance the need for timber and other forest products with the conservation of forest ecosystems. Marine and coastal ecosystems are equally important for the health of the planet. Oceans absorb a significant portion of carbon dioxide emissions and play a critical role in regulating the climate. However, they are facing severe threats from overfishing, pollution and climate change. Marine protected areas, MPAs, and sustainable fishing practices are essential for conserving marine biodiversity and maintaining the health of ocean ecosystems. MPAs are designated regions where human activities are regulated to protect marine habitats and species. Sustainable fishing practices, such as setting catch limits and reducing bycatch, help ensure that fish populations remain healthy and productive. Addressing marine pollution, particularly plastic pollution, requires concerted efforts to reduce plastic production, improve waste management, and promote the use of biodegradable alternatives. Single-use plastics, such as straws, bags, and bottles, contribute significantly to marine pollution. Reducing the use of single-use plastics, promoting recycling, and developing biodegradable materials can help reduce the amount of plastic waste entering the oceans. Indigenous peoples and local communities have long-standing knowledge and practices that are invaluable for environmental conservation. Their traditional ecological knowledge, often passed down through generations, offers insights into sustainable resource management and biodiversity conservation. Recognizing and respecting the rights of indigenous peoples and involving them in decision-making processes are crucial for the success of conservation efforts. Indigenous-led conservation initiatives have proven effective in protecting biodiversity and enhancing the resilience of ecosystems. Economic systems and policies play a significant role in shaping environmental outcomes. Transitioning to a green economy which prioritizes sustainable development and environmental protection requires systemic changes in how we produce, consume, and value natural resources. Green economy policies may include incentives for renewable energy, investments in green infrastructure, and regulations to limit pollution and resource extraction. Additionally, Incorporating the true environmental costs into the pricing of goods and services, often referred to as internalizing externalities, can drive more sustainable consumption and production patterns. Corporate responsibility and sustainability are increasingly recognized as essential components of business strategy. Companies are adopting sustainable practices 
such as reducing emissions, minimizing waste, and sourcing materials responsibly to address environmental concerns and meet consumer demands for sustainable products. Corporate sustainability initiatives can drive significant positive change by reducing the environmental impact of production and consumption. Education and capacity building are fundamental to fostering a culture of sustainability. Integrating environmental education into school curricula helps young people understand the importance of protecting the planet and equips them with the knowledge and skills to take action. Lifelong learning opportunities such as workshops, online courses and community programs enable individuals of all ages to stay informed and engaged in environmental issues. Topics such as climate change, conservation and sustainable living are essential components of environmental education. Scientific research and monitoring are essential for understanding the complexities of Earth systems and the impacts of human activities. Long-term environmental monitoring programs provide valuable data on changes in climate, biodiversity and ecosystems. This information is crucial for developing effective conservation strategies and assessing the progress of environmental policies. Collaboration between scientists, policymakers and practitioners enhances the relevance and application of research findings. Citizen science initiatives, where members of the public participate in scientific research, are growing in popularity and can provide valuable data for environmental monitoring. These initiatives engage communities in environmental conservation and raise awareness about local and global issues. For example, and ensure a thriving future for generations to come. The journey towards sustainability is a shared responsibility that requires commitment, innovation, and compassion for the natural world that sustains us. In conclusion, the health of Mother Earth hinges on our ability to recognize the intricate connections that sustain life and the impact of our actions on these systems. Sustainable practices in energy, agriculture, water management and conservation are crucial for mitigating environmental degradation and promoting resilience. Education, advocacy and global cooperation are vital for fostering a culture of sustainability and driving meaningful change. By honoring the legacy of Mother Earth and committing to sustainable stewardship, we can create a thriving future for all living beings. The journey toward a sustainable future is one that requires collective effort, innovation, and a deep respect for the natural world.